Hi, everybody. I'm meteorologist Jim Lawrence of the Super Doppler 10 Weather Center. Is it going to be a wet New Year's holiday weekend? We'll find out in the forecast in just a few minutes. Those stories and more next at 6. You've seen the headlines. Priority bought the Hyundai dealership at Greenbrier. Now it's Priority Hyundai and we're open for business. Priority is selling all leftover Hyundais below factory prices because we didn't buy them from the factory. We've got plenty of everything Hyundai makes. Buy a new Sonata and take up to $5,000 off the sticker. The very popular Santa Fe from less than $19,000. Get your Priority Hyundai now at below factory prices because we didn't buy them from the factory. New Priority Hyundai, South Military Highway at Greenbrier. Log on to wavy.com and click on Find Your Car to search hundreds of cars and trucks from dealerships throughout Hampton Roads. Search by make and model, by price, or even by payment. Find resources to help you make an informed decision. Get quotes and contact dealers directly with one click in one place at wavy.com. Don't let the year end without seeing our bold new lineup at the Dodge Premier Event. The all-new Nitro is pumping adrenaline alongside the fuel-efficient new Dodge Caliber. They join Dodge Magnum and Charger, both with available electronic stability program. And Grand Caravan with stow-and-go seating and storage. Before the year's over, get $4,000 cash allowance on Grand Caravan or grab great deals on our remaining 2006 models. Check out Caravan and the entire Dodge lineup before the year is over. Closed captioning is brought to you by Bruce's Super Body Shops, where you earn frequent flyer miles. Live from the station on your side, this is Wavy News 10. Topping news tonight, Saddam Hussein has been executed, but some Iraqis are wondering if the former dictator's death will change anything. Within hours of his death, bombings killed at least 68 people in Iraq, including one in a fish market south of Baghdad. The reaction to Saddam's death was mixed. In his birthplace near Tikrit, fellow Sunnis were angered by his death. Meanwhile, the scene was very different in the largely Shiite Karbala, where people celebrated the news. 10 year size Tracy Potts has more. There was cheering in Baghdad, Sadr City, dancing in the holy city of Najaf, and celebration in an Iraqi suburb of Detroit. Finally, Saddam got what he deserved. Just after dawn, Iraqi guards led the former dictator to the gallows. Witnesses say he refused to wear a hood, but did not resist. The White House said Saddam got the kind of justice he denied his victims. This guy murdered more Muslims than almost anybody in modern history. Uh, possibly a million people lost their lives because of him. He wasn't just a dictator. Internally, he created a monster system. Muslims around the world are protesting the execution. In India, President Bush was burned in effigy. In Saddam's hometown near Tikrit, a curfew brought silence. Even the Vatican spoke out against it. The killing of the guilty is not the way to rebuild justice and reconcile society. Some analysts fear Saddam's execution may incite more violence inside and outside Iraq. The question is whether this is going to be an impulse, whether he'll serve as a martyr, or whether it'll deflate them. Three car bombs exploded in Baghdad today, killing 25 as the U.S. announced six more Americans were killed, making December the deadliest month in Iraq this year. Saddam Hussein is expected to be buried overnight, but not in his family cemetery. The family has decided to bury him in the insurgent stronghold of Ramadi. Tracy Potts, NBC News, Washington. As you saw, people around the world are reacting to Saddam's death, including people here in Hampton Roads. I think it's great. I, actually, I was surprised that he actually did it. I don't think they were ever going to do it. I was watching CNN um, last night, and they showed some things that he was doing. The dude was heartless. I mean, this should have been done a long time ago, in my opinion. The trial shouldn't even last this long. During his many years in power, Saddam Hussein cast a large shadow over the Middle East and the Arab world. At a Feast of Sacrifice celebration in Hampton this morning, 10 year side Shannon Powell spoke with some American Muslims. Against the backdrop of this holy ceremony, they shared their thoughts on Saddam's life and very high profile death. Hundreds of Muslims gathered at the Hampton Convention Center. This is part of a special religious celebration known as the Feast of Sacrifice. We are talking about the sacrifice of Abraham 
when he had to sacrifice a lamb instead of his son, Ishmael. Each one of us can take a series. Saturday morning's prayer and ceremony is one of two annual religious festivals for Muslims, as they also think about those making a special journey. They're also uh, thinking about the people who are performing pilgrimage in the city of Mecca. While it is a day of happiness and celebration, it is also tarnished by news coming out of Iraq. We don't want to talk about something, again, as I said, that, that mainly it is a political decision what happened in Iraq. It's hard to avoid the subject when Muslims in Iraq are celebrating in the streets and in some cities across the United States there is happiness but it is for the execution of Saddam Hussein. His death sentence carried out during a time that is supposed to be a religious celebration. We regret that they decided to execute him on this particular day. They could have very well waited till after the feast to execute him. What is happening there in Iraq, okay, affects me like affect anyone else, being Muslim or non Muslim. While everyone knows what's going on, Muslims here refuse to let Saddam Hussein's death ruin the purpose of this day. This specific time of the year is a time of happiness, of a time of celebration. Shannon Powell, Wavy News 10. Turning now to developing news in Newport News. One woman is dead and another woman is recovering after being shot at while driving in their car. Police say the shooting happened around midnight while the car was driving west on 35th Street. Ten in your side's Jason Marks joins us live from the scene where a memorial has been set up. Jason, do police know anything about the shooter? Uh, Cheryl, I spoke with Newport News Police just a short time ago. They tell me they still have no idea who pulled the trigger in last night's deadly shooting. Now you can see the orange paint still on here on 35th Street. That's where the car where three women who were in it came to a stop after someone fired several shots at that vehicle. One of those women, a 23 year old Tiffany Cooper, was killed after being shot in the head. Uh, you can see relatives brought out flowers, bears, and a drum set in honor of Tiffany. Another woman was also injured in that car. We're told that uh, she was shot in the lower leg. She was taken to the hospital and she should make a full recovery. Now, this all happened just around midnight. Uh, witnesses we spoke with say they heard about a dozen gunshots. I mean, it was like 10, maybe 10 gunshots. Then after that, that's when we ran out of the house. And after we heard help, help, we ran out of the house, seeing her land right there on the ground. And everybody started running to help her. Now you're looking down 35th Street. 35th Street is a one-way street. Uh, you can only go from this way to north. So uh, that's where the way the car was traveling. We're told that the shooter came from the other side, fired the shots into the driver's side door. Uh, as we said, one woman uh, was killed, their 23 year old Tiffany Cooper from Newport News. Uh, that's all police really have to go on right now. If you have any information for police, uh, give them a call. For now, we're live in Newport News. Jason Marks, Wavy News 10. Hope someone can help police. Jason, thank you. Developing news in Norfolk now. Police continue to look for the person who shot two men last night. The shooting happened in the 1300 block of Mason Avenue. That is near the intersection of Little Creek Road and Military Highway. 28-year-old Termaine Baker died at the hospital. The condition of the second man is not known at this time. In Virginia Beach, Derek Donzel Harrison is behind bars. He was arrested yesterday at an oceanfront motel in the 500 block of Atlantic Avenue. Harrison is charged in the September shooting at an apartment complex on Barberton Court. Those charges include malicious assault and using a firearm in the commission of a felony. He's being held without bond tonight. Remembering two men who touched our country politically and musically. Tonight, former President Gerald Ford lies in state at the Capitol. More on how the American public is remembering our 38th president. And hundreds gathered to remember the godfather of soul, James Brown, in one last ceremony. Then Suffolk police prepare for the worst through some intense training. We have more on their mission. And it's starting to get a little cool out there. Let's have a look right now at the weather net at Notice Lynn Haven Middle School. Already at 47, Cox High, the same setup. Great Bridge High right now at 55. Nazareth River High School at 51. And Mitchville High School 51 on the peninsula. What's ahead is more cool weather here. And also, what's the story about a big warm-up on New Year's Eve? We'll talk about that in the forecast coming up next. So long, farewell, I'll be the same goodbye. 
hate to go and leave this pretty sight. So long, farewell, auf Wiedersehen, adieu. Adieu, adieu, to you and you and you. Goodbye. Say goodbye to the 2006 models with up to 3,000 cash back or visit Kia.com. You can store all this at public storage and pay just $1 for the first month's rent. You can store all this at public storage and still pay just $1 for the first month's rent. You can even store all this at public storage and still pay just $1 for the first month's rent. Call 1-800-44-STORE now. Offer ends soon. If your child needs a warm coat, visit one of these locations on January 6th. You are black, even a little dandruff shows. That's why more people are switching from ordinary dandruff shampoo to Selsun Blue. Doctor recommended for flakes and itch. With aloe and moisturizers for healthier hair and scalp. Make the switch. Never wear black without the blue. Selsun Blue. A little black dress is always in style, but even a little dandruff shows. My old dandruff shampoo wasn't into black, so I switched to Selsun Blue. Doctor recommended for flakes and itch with aloe and moisturizers for healthier hair and scalp. Never wear black without the blue. Selsun Blue. You've seen the headlines. Priority bought the Mazda dealership at Greenbrier. Now it's Priority Mazda, and we're open for business. Priority is selling all leftover Mazdas with discounts as high as $7,000 because we bought them from the old dealership. We've got plenty of everything Mazda makes, dozens of CX-7s in stock, and a huge supply of the most popular Mazda, the Mazda 3. You can actually buy a new 2007 Mazda 3 for a little over $13,000. So come on in and test drive a new Mazda and save. New Priority Mazda, South Military Highway at Greenbrier. Tell on Your Side brings you news that fits your lifestyle. Convenient early evening coverage, bringing you the news when you want it. Anytime between 5 and 6.30, switch to Wavy News 10 for more breaking news and On Your Side investigations. Plus, you're never more than a few minutes away from Don Slater's live Super Doppler 10 forecast. And Chopper 10 brings you closer to the news than anyone. More convenient, more coverage, more news when you want it. Wavy News 10 at 5, 5.30 and 6 on your side. The modest, dignified, and patriotic remembrance of former President Gerald R. Ford continues in Washington. Ford's body was carried from California to the nation's capital aboard a presidential aircraft. Yesterday, visitors bid farewell to the 38th president at the Palm Desert Church he attended near his West Coast home. He is being remembered as a man who only wanted to be Speaker of the House and was given the awesome responsibility of healing a nation. I remember Gerald Ford uh, after he took over the presidency as just kind of bringing the country together again after such a divisive time. He really did work to healing the country and in a particularly an ugly period of our history. Ford will lie in state at the Capitol until Tuesday. Then he will be taken to his burial place at the Ford Presidential Library in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Another American remembered today was Soul Legend. James Brown. His funeral drew thousands. Brown's funeral and celebration were held in Augusta, Georgia, and it was a star-studded event. Jesse Jackson, the Reverend Al Sharpton, MC Hammer, and even Michael Jackson attended. James Brown was a man's man, and he stood up like a man, he lived like a man, and on Christmas Day, he died like a man. James Brown is my greatest inspiration. Ever since I was a small child, no more than like six years old, my mother would wake me no matter what time it was. I was sleeping, no matter what I was doing, to watch the television to see the master at work. Speakers were set up outside the service so people who weren't able to get in could still hear the service. They put their lives on the line every day. Today, dozens of Suffolk officers made sure they have the tools they need to protect you and your children.
you breaking news in just minutes, day or night. Chopper 10, now armed with the most sophisticated night vision technology in the world, taking you deeper into the night where no one else can. Now we can see what's on the ground even in total darkness, bringing you images anywhere in Hampton Roads, anytime. And it's only on Wavy News 10, the new Chopper 10. Look up Hampton Roads, day and night. Chopper 10 is on your side. high blood pressure, you should know that decongestants in these cold medicines can raise your blood pressure. So why take them? Take decongestant-free Corsetin HBP, powerful cold relief that won't raise your blood pressure. Work, errands, family. No wonder women are more likely to be irregular. Correctol is the laxative made for women with the ingredient doctors recommend most for gentle, dependable, overnight relief so I can feel like myself again. Start tomorrow right. Correctol tonight. The celebration is almost over at the Chevy Red Tag event. It's your last chance for factory-to-dealer incentives that mean the best prices of the season. And now, the 2007 Chevy Colorado comes with the best coverage in America, including the GM 100,000-mile warranty, something no one else has. See some red, save some green. Hurry, ends January 2nd. See your local Chevy dealer or visit dealsonchevy.com. Wavy traffic jam cams are on your side. Brought to you by Kim Knock Ford, leading the way. Don't let the year end without seeing our bold new lineup at the Dodge Premier Event. The all-new Nyko is pumping adrenaline alongside the fuel-efficient new Dodge Caliber. They join the newly redesigned Durango, Dakota with best-in-class overall interior room, and Dodge Ram, the longest-lasting line of pickups. Before the year's over, get $5,000 cash allowance on Ram 1500 or grab great deals on our remaining 2006 models. Check out Ram and all of our bold lineup before the year is over. Intense training took place this week and aimed at all of Suffolk Police's sworn officers. Intersection, push left, push left, push left. That gunshot you heard is a mock threat that these officers are trying to track down. At Nansman River High School today, members of the police force scoured the halls in groups of four. They're getting lessons on how to react when armed suspects are on the loose, for example, in schools. The goal is to give each and every officer the skills needed to stop a threat. With the trend, the growing trend of active shooting situations going on in schools and businesses, we need to give those first officers on scene the training to, to make immediate entry so they can attempt to locate that threat and stop that threat as quick as possible. This training will continue in Suffolk over the next few months. Always live, always dependable radar. Here's meteorologist Jim Lawrence with your Super Doppler 10 forecast. Hi, everybody. Let's have a look at the town center outside. And this is a nice shot. Still a lot of people taking, I guess, back their Christmas presents that they re uh, received on uh, Christmas. But otherwise, it looks like it's a nice night out there. But the clouds are starting to increase. It looks like we're going to see becoming cloudy overnight tonight. Much cooler on Sunday. Rain and warm for New Year's Day. And you say, well, how warm is it going to be New Year's Day? We can tell you it's going to be nice. In other words, there will be something to offset the rain. Right now, no rain on the Super Doppler 10 Live. As you can see, it is quiet. But that's going to change because you can see, first of all, high clouds starting to move in. And then there is rain out here in Tennessee and also down through Alabama and Mississippi. And all of this is going to be marching eastward. And we'll start to see the clouds thicken during the overnight hours so that tomorrow we should see mostly cloudy skies. Right now, partly cloudy on the peninsula 49, Norfolk temperature 48, Virginia Beach 49. High today, 57. Not as high as we would have liked to, for it to have been. Low temperature of uh, 34 and a little lower than what we would have liked for it to have been, too. All right, let's look at future tracks. Starting tonight at uh, 830, here come the clouds as they start to roll in. You can see them thicken by uh, tomorrow. And then uh, by tomorrow evening, still no rain. But I think in the overnight hours, we'll start to see a little bit of rain, but definitely by 630 on Monday. This would 
be New Year's Day, okay? And then we see plenty of rain starting to move in here around 2.30 in the afternoon. So the worst of it is going to be New Year's Day about 2.30. But along with the worst of it, we're going to see temps up to like about 68 degrees. A few spots could see around 70 with the exception of the coastal areas, which will get the uh, onshore flow. Here we are at 6.30 at the end of the forecast period. And notice things try to clear out uh, during the overnight hours. So this evening's forecast, we'll see about uh, 50 degrees. Skies will be partly cloudy. Winds will be from the north, but they'll change around to the northeast. So here's the forecast for tomorrow. Mostly cloudy. Some rain, I'm thinking, down here in northeast North Carolina before dark, maybe. And then north of the border, we should see mostly cloudy. 53 Norfolk, Portsmouth 52, 53 at the beach, 54 in Chesapeake, and 55 in Suffolk, 56 in Franklin on the peninsula. Still looking good. 51 in Hampton and uh, 52 in Newport News, 50 at Percocin as we move farther north, 49 at Irvington, 50 at Gloucester. Temperatures there will be much cooler. All right, let's take a look at the seven-day forecast here as we bring on the uh, new year. 68 uh, on Monday, which is so nice. 56 on Tuesday. Notice more seasonable temps here Wednesday and also into Thursday. More clouds by Thursday afternoon. Friday, though, more rain and, yes, more warm temperatures here in uh, 2007. And then by Sunday, or Saturday, we'll see about uh, 58. So many days, again, my days mixed up, but still, this is going to be a nice week. And there is no sign of any really cold air. And we are arriving, what we call commonly this time of year, the dead of winter. And it's more like the dead of late fall almost <laughs> with these uh, temperatures the way it is. But so far, I haven't heard any complaints. Whatsoever. I have not been complaining. What a way to ring in a new year, right? Oh, yeah. So nice. Jim, thanks so <laughs> okay. much. Straight ahead in sports, highlights from today's game between the Lady Monarchs and Rutgers, a nail-biter between Navy and Boston College, and the Hokies get ready to take on Georgia in the Chick-fil-A Bowl. A preview of that game is next in sports. Wavy News 10 is online. Just log on to wavy.com and click on the Wavy News Online icon. Wavy News 10. If it's on air, it's online. In the human body, the heart pumps blood through thousands of miles of arteries every minute. Inventor of the Jarvik artificial heart, Dr. Robert Jarvik. But high cholesterol can clog arteries and lead to heart disease or a stroke. Adding Lipitor is proven to lower bad cholesterol an impressive 39 to 60 percent when diet and exercise are not enough. And today, clinical evidence proves that Lipitor can reduce both your risk of heart attack and your risk of stroke if you have several common risk factors for heart disease. All important reasons to ask your doctor about Lipitor. Lipitor is not for everyone, including people with liver problems and women who are nursing, pregnant, or may become pregnant. You need simple blood tests to check for liver problems. Tell your doctor if you're taking other medications or if you have any muscle pain or weakness. They may be a sign of a rare but serious side effect. Lipitor is one of many treatment options to consider with your doctor. Could you be doing more with Lipitor? Ask your doctor. Exceptional values on your favorite Lexus vehicles. See Charles Barker, Lexus Newport News, and Charles Barker, Lexus Virginia Beach. This New Year's, we're creating some fireworks at Value City Furniture. Come in now for incredible savings, like this complete five-piece retro-style bedroom, just $5.99. You save over half. Or this five-piece all-wood bedroom with microfiber headboard for just $7.99, our lowest price ever. With no money down, no interest, and no monthly payments for six months, and no minimum purchase. So start the New Year right during the New Year sale, now at Value City Furniture. High-quality, guaranteed lowest prices. What's your resolution? More versatility, style, utility, space. How about saving money during Nissan's national year-end sales event? Get 1,500 Nissan cash back on the 2006 Nissan Xterra. Plus, get up to $1,000 bonus cash on select Nissans on top of all other incentives through January 2nd. Well, it's almost a given for Virginia Tech football. Despite major changes on the team, the Hokies still find a way to get past and get into postseason play. 
14 straight trips to a bowl, and tonight the Hokies will line up against Georgia in the Chick-fil-A Bowl. And as you would expect, the Hokies love to follow and support their team. Downtown Atlanta is packed with Virginia Tech football fans. This marks the third time Virginia Tech has played a postseason game down in Atlanta. Back when it was known as the Peach Bowl, the Hokies lost to Miami in 1980, but beat NC State on a last-second field goal in 1986. What can you expect tonight? Well, how about a low-scoring defensive battle? The Hokies come into tonight's contest ranked 15th in the nation and lead the nation in scoring defense, allowing just nine points a game. The Hokies' defense is loaded with local players, starting with linebackers Vince Hall and Xavier Adibi, Carlton Powell, Aaron Rouse, Chris Ellis, and DJ Parker will also be key players in tonight's contest. Chesapeake native and starting tailback Brandon Orr is fully recovered from a high ankle sprain and will start tonight for Tech. The Hokies come into this contest with Georgia riding a six-game win streak. And speaking of the dogs, Georgia, like Tech, came on strong at the end of the season with impressive wins over Auburn and Georgia Tech. The Bulldogs start true freshman Matthew Stafford at quarterback. He got the start midway through the season and led the team to five wins. With this game just minutes away from Georgia's campus, expect this to be like a home game for the Bulldogs. So it will be loud tonight in the Georgia Dome. We certainly feel that it's going to be a loud environment and uh, it's going to be a lot of people in there and there's going to be uh, some fans on both sides or from both schools that are going to make their feelings known throughout the game. The guy that, that runs the, runs the Chick-fil-A Bowl talked to us the other day and said, uh, you know, they're expecting a big turnout from our, from our fans, you know, and, uh, you know, we expected that too. Every bowl game we've been to, we've had a big turnout from the Virginia Tech fans and that's helped us out a lot and, uh, you know, contributed to our success a lot. Virginia Tech and Georgia in the Chick-fil-A Bowl. Game time is set for 8 o'clock tonight. Meanwhile, earlier today down in Charlotte, the surprising Navy football program went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Boston College. Both teams came in with identical 9-3 records, but BC was without one key component. Head coach Tom O'Brien, who left the team this month to coach at NC State. So the undersized and underdog midshipmen had their work cut out for them today, and they had that option working to a T. Early on, Sean White takes the pitch around right in, finds a seam, and he's off to the races 53 yards on the play. Still in the second quarter, Navy quarterback Capo Noah Kahuku Inhada passes 24 yards for to James Tomlinson. Nice grab in traffic for the score. Navy up 21-16 at halftime. Fourth quarter now. BC looking to cash in. And cha-ching, Matt Ryan lobs one to Ryan Purvis. The two-point conversion was no good, so Navy had a two-point lead late in the game. They tried to run out the clock, and this is what happens. Oops, they fumble on the pitch. A huge mistake. BC took the clock down to three seconds, then left it up to walk-on kicker Steve Apinopovicius. 27, 37 yards out, and it's good. Game winner as time expires. Boston College over Navy, 25-24. to 24. Women's basketball now, and it has not been smooth sailing for the Lady Monarchs. Just 3-7 and seven this year, and today facing a strong Rutgers team. ODU hoping some home cooking could get them back on track. The Lady Monarchs trailing most of the first half, but the second half was a different story. Tish Lyons fills it up. ODU takes a three-point lead. Later, Sharita Triggs gets the rebound and the putback. Lady Monarchs starting to dominate down low. Rutgers had the size advantage, but ODU was just too physical. Tiffany Green this time with the nice move, and ODU gets a win at home against Rutgers. 72-55 the final. The Lady Marks improved to 4-7 on the season. No Redskins on TV tonight. It's on pay, you know, kind of a pay-per-view, mm -hmm. so we'll have lots of highlights of the Redskins at 11 and 10.45 on Fox. Sounds good. Let's check on our warm New Year's forecast. All right, let's take a look at it. You see our New Year's baby there. It looks like we'll see 68 on New Year's Day. A little chilly tomorrow with about 52. Rain commences on Monday, but we got those warm temps. Mm, unbelievable. Thanks for joining us here at 6. We'll be back at 11. Good night, everyone.